if you uh, read the basic map of one's prana, you know their past, present and future, everything about the person. Because in a way your life is just a manifestation of your energies, how they function. So with the yogic system, what you're trying to do is to change how it functions from an unconscious repetition of things or it is right now being heavily manipulated by the memory bank that one has or the karmic structure that one has. Accordingly, the energy… energy is moving. Now, if we look at this, let's forget whose image this is, okay? This is like a… an energy x-ray for immediate purposes. We can make a much elaborate one, but that would take much more involvement. This is for immediate. So, now if you look at this map, what you will see is uh, Mooladhara is slightly imbalanced, needs little, little more work. Swadhisthana, not very strong but okay, Manipuraka is good. Anahata, confused. You know what these are? You know which is which? Anahata is confused and a little bit of like that. This should be nothing much has happened as you're born, it is. Agna, okay, stable, nothing phenomenal, but there is potential. I think because of a certain continuous emotional pattern, it's… the system has become slightly skewed, which must be corrected. Hatha yoga is the right thing to do. If you do proper Hatha yoga, this slightly skewed positions that your energy system has taken will naturally get corrected. In the occult processes, if they want to destroy somebody, just deny him the prana, he'll just crumble. If you uh, read the basic map of one's prana, you know their past, present and future. Right now, this is anahata, not necessary. You move your anahata to your hand and you just touch somebody, they will burst with love. If one has some mastery over his Vishuddhi, his whole aura will turn electric blue. It is this type of aura which allows you to function in the world in a way that other people think is superhuman. And that is why Shiva sits there. There are certain systems of tantra, particularly in Central Asia, these were certain groups of gypsies. In a matter of two and a half hours to three hours, they will plant an apple seed and make the tree grow and bear fruit. So Kundalini is that dimension. One should not meddle with it unless they're truly, truly competent.